Hello everybody, welcome to the second round match of CCL Season 47 between Razzlestorm and his Skaven and Gadenik and his Chaos. Ah, in back. Thanks, Steve. In the booth with me is the legend of the game, Eliod. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Eating his tea, but don't worry, he'll be he'll have some expert analysis. Um, so Gadenik had had a four point plan to beat to beat uh, Razzlestorm. Number one was play good D. Number two was uh, think about the wizard. Three was bang on men's, and four was remember number three. <laughs> so yes, he definitely wants to try and kill as many rats as possible. There are thirteen Skaven with a wizard as the only inducement. Twelve chaos. It's an amazing chaos team. Completely amazing chaos team. Loads of claw. Uh, two full claw bombers with tackle, which is what you want, isn't it? Amazing. Two perfect killers, and then a couple, three claw mighty warriors. Three stand firm total, bunch of guard, good carrier, just absolutely, absolutely amazing chaos team. Despite the name, there isn't actually any tents, is there? Just, uh, just to check. There is a there is a tentacle player, but it's missed next. It's oh, missed next. For this right. match. I, yeah, I thought there was, but I couldn't see it on the pitch. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just... Yeah, he's got a he's got a strength up beast man with tentacles, um, which is. Uh, you know, it's missed. It would be a great game for it, right, against Skaven. Mm, but, um, yeah. but yeah, this I, I didn't like this setup for the Daka. Like, I like to protect. You know, like you know, maybe his, uh, chevrons or whatever, right? So that if you fail the pickup, you still got protection. He just he just put a big blob of players that it, you know it was pretty weird. Moved everyone back before he picked it up. Um, Ra Razzle Storm or Dazzle Storm. His coded name is Dazzle Storm. Here it is Razzle Storm on Twitch. He confessed that uh, when he played me and he dacked, that was the first dacker he'd ever done. Mm. So his second dacker ever is against the best team and the best coach in Chalice. <laughs> Straight in at the deep end. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not the best way to learn. Interesting here that that uh, Nick didn't leave the stand firm on the wing. Um, yeah, Niggle as well. Is it because he's niggled? He's expecting the rats to like mighty blow him down the wing or something. I mean, I still put him on the wing. Agreed. Yeah. I'd be interested to see here how Nick and if Nick initiates contact with a Dacker. Will he actually go into base up the rats, or will he let them make the first move and just stay in this line? Well, I I think seeing as his his four point plan, two of them were bang on men's. Oh, that's that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the answer. Yeah. Hey, and hey, HDK. <laughs> Hello. Um, exactly, sir. Absolute treat. Amazing, amazing to have Elliot here. Uh, he wants to claw pom right. He doesn't want to give up claw pom hits, so. I imagine he will be there for initiating contact, if only to protect from fouls. Yeah, that's, that's fair, that's fair. I always just worry, like, I'm always really happy sitting in, well, I do columns usually, but, you know, this is, you know, similar, isn't it? Mm. I'm always happy sitting in the columns or in, in the line, and then whenever you do engage, you know, there's always that bit more chance that there's a, you know, some threes through here or some threes through there that they wouldn't otherwise get in the column. So you got to be really careful when you do engage, right? Because, you know, the rats and the elves, they can slip round if you do just leave them a bit of a gap. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that, that is the thing. And that's why that's why the Daka is kind of a lot better when, when you're already winning, right? Because then they have to engage. And then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have to, like, they have to... Over pursuing a way to, to try and to try and get you the turnover. Absolutely. I mean, he has got a strength and guard advantage, so I guess he's pretty happy. I guess he's pretty happy going in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Nick oh. did, in in fact, swap the stand firm to the yeah uh, to the. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting that he's buddied up the killers here and gets a gas. <laughs> Instant, instant hit into cars. All going according to plan. Yeah, these two guards there make it pretty difficult to do anything there, doesn't it? Pretty, it's pretty rough. This isn't it for the rats. There's really nowhere for them to go, no way to break through. They've, they've only got the one guard. I, yeah, I, I guess are we going through the one of the killers and then three plusing with a non ad five gutters, or the I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's yeah, like you say, there's no, there's no easy way through, is there? No. But at least getting to hit one of the ta the tackle pommers is nice, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, it's the warrior as well. That's cool. Oh, they've got they have got two guard. Okay, so. Hmm. They... 
Oh, we can just go through the middle. Oh, that's nice then, actually, yeah. Yeah, or oh, he needed a power, didn't he? he need... Maybe uh... he should have re-rolled that, right? Yeah. And then you've got no re-roll to it, then you have to dodge yeah. to tackle. Yeah, and his tackle, yeah. Horrible. Yeah, if there was no tackle there, then maybe you re-roll that and then go through on twos there. So now he's... <laughs> oh, wow. Man, no sidestep on the sideline. I guess there's nothing too agile from Nick. But, man, what about chains and stuff? Oh, my God. Are we not surfing this? Surely this is surfable. Uh, Nick looked at it. I looked at it as well. I watched this live. I must confess. I watched this live. Um, there are There is sidestep here and sidestep here, which makes it very difficult to, to surf, to be honest. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, he, th he, th he looked at it for a while. Yeah, okay. And he yeah, thought yeah, maybe yeah. there was a way to surf. Yeah. Um, I I dismissed it, and I just I would have just gone yeah. max blocks. Um, I personally. don't think I would find it in three minutes for sure. And and yeah, max blocks. E even if you can find it, max blocks isn't going to be that much worse, is it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like like you, in, interestingly, he didn't max blocks, but I would have definitely yeah. hit these three, um, and then this four, and then what he could do is he could run around here and blitz this guy, and like he could fill these two squares, and he could blitz this uh, storm vermin into the gutter, and then get the gutter hit on the uh, ah, nice, nice. with with the ball carrier. That that's what I would have favoured, just absolute max yeah. blocks. But um, but and Nick in fact blitzes with this warrior, and and so I, I guess Razzle's handing off to the. Was it the Edge Six man, like thinking about running through, <laughs> running through some tackle zones in the near future? Yes, yeah. He's also got he's also got horns as well, so he can maybe uh, he can maybe uh, one v through as well, can't he? Yeah. Potentially. Another so one one more cancer, <laughs> another arm break. Yeah, I mean, I wish my two cover. first my first two blocks against this team were two cans, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> nice spot for the stand firm in here, isn't it? Yeah. God. He and then the other one there them. as well, so he can't move. He no, can't I'm move these. <laughs> yeah, so in conclusion, uh, Nick definitely did do some basing up. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Who are the, uh, the rowdy greed? I guess he's got that. Four, he's got the fourth wheel rostered, hasn't he? He's got four on the team. Yeah, 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 he does have four rostered. But also the push wasn't very desirable and that's why he took the okay. both down when he uh when he when he rerolled it anyway. But there's a little outlet here. A little outlet here. That's oh, yeah, not bad, is it? Nice. The problem with the with the Skaven Dacker is of course you only actually have four good players. Yeah. <laughs> with elves that everyone can two plus away, can't they? It's a lot more reliable. It's interesting, right? There are like slightly different approaches to the DACA where you can kind of try and dodge everybody through whatever gap you're making, like which is more like the elf one, I guess, or like more like the rat one. You you dodge some people through, and then all your other rats are standing on guys just to try to stop them. Especially when you're breaking through on the turn where the enemy team is still quite wide, right? Like at the moment, Nick's team is really narrow and bunched. But yeah. if it was still wide in columns, you could tag up one side of the columns, right, while you're breaking through the other with your with your gutters. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but as it is, his foot is his furthest away. Guys, still they're still yeah, getting I, relevant, aren't they? This exactly, is exactly yeah. big problem for uh, Dazzle. Yeah, you can, cannot tag <laughs> you if you, even if you had the the line rats still alive to tag them. <laughs> you, you couldn't really do too much work by tagging people out here. Yeah. Well, got some lives there. Yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Gonna be a lot of chaos standing in front of this ball, though. <laughs> this Edge Six guy is gonna have some work to do. Yeah, that's the thing, and he's the fact that he's got so much tackle as well. Like, maybe yeah. he could totally outrun them. Um, we well, it's exactly the same, isn't it, as the Edge Beast Man? I guess he's yeah, he's three squares and three uh, three fast. Oh no, he's moved eight. Oh, he's moved eight. The, uh, oh. the two edge man. Oh. God, oh, that's sad. I guess it's, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because um, you have got to be careful, right? As the Chaos still, they can, the rats can go back to the other side, can't they? So uh, you don't want to jam too many Chaos in front of them, and, but you still need to, you know, uh, have some there. You've you, you got to look after the side and, the, you know, and, and behind. 
Yeah, it's tricky, but I mean, it is turn five now, so you really mm-hmm. want to yeah. be breaking through a l- somehow, don't you? But like, how do you? There's so much in front. Like, there's yeah. so much in front, isn't it? He was able to get everything, yeah, because he was so central and like, yeah, around him, he's got so much over. Like, interesting, he did this GFI as well. Like, it was a good GFI, wasn't it? It's a great spot. Stand firm, guy. Yeah. Yeah, great square. It's it's so hard. Like, yeah, he can go back to the other side, but he's not getting forward, is he? No, I, I I guess I I would go back and and this is the turn where I try and tag out yeah you know, like he's doing it looks like tagging out these warriors and stuff maybe I'd leave one of those line rats down and dodge out at the end oh is he blitzing this guy, um, but so, yeah it's it's a long way to go isn't it <laughs> in uh, yeah. the next turns even for rats yeah at least you can push that one like it's horrible that you can't even push the, the two of them isn't it like, yeah. yeah. How, do you think you would have approached this different to to Razzle, to Dazzle in any particular way? Uh, what, what do you think about what you've seen with the Dakar so far? I mean, first of all, I haven't I haven't ever Dakkered with uh, a developed Skaven team because uh, I've never you, had you, a developed Skaven team. You don't like the Rat Dakar, do you, as much as the Elf Dakar? No, I like it a lot less. Yeah, yeah I like it a lot yeah. less, it's, especially like versus a high powered killing team like this. Like you know, he's got so much strength, so much mighty blow. All of you guys are just getting stuck, aren't they? If this was Elves. Fine, because you can two plus off them all, and they've all got dodge, and like all his warriors don't have tackle, right? So like, if this was a yeah. high elf dacker, it's fine. I mean, okay, he would have piled there, but <laughs> it would be a lot better with elves because you could two plus off them, and they wouldn't automatically sure. be knock powering you. Like they power you half as much, don't they? Um, whereas with the with the armor seven line rats, well, okay, he's got chlorus as well, but even the mighty blows are like just slaughtering him, aren't they? The rookies can slaughter him. I mean, this is a, that would have been a non-dodge. Hard to criticize, of course, but I, I'm, you know, genuinely wondering, you know, should he, did he have to go earlier? Like it would have maybe even been an early score, but did he have to go like while the chaos was still in the line? Because once we got to that turn where Nick had surrounded the, the rats, yeah. it was just, you know, never never going to be nice for the rats from there, was it? Yeah, that was the thing. Like, he, okay, you don't want to blitz through stand firm, but he yeah. only had... And he didn't even have a stand firm yeah, on the wing. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah. Maybe, maybe that when he had that not stand firm on the wings when he had to go, really. Yeah, he, he was early, but yeah, maybe, maybe that was the best chance he was going to get. Yeah. And, like, maybe that's... Uh... You know, inexperience of Razzle, like yeah. he has, he has. This is his second ever Dakar, um, yeah. and nobody really gets to Dakar against players as good as Gdynik very often as well, right? So there's, no, there's that as well, um, and teams as good as this. And yeah, maybe if he had known how bad it was, how bad and how quickly it was going to get very bad, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then maybe he would have gone for that. But. Um, yeah, when I when I first started daggering, I think I tended to to leave it too long, and end up either you know not be able to break through or just getting a bit you know sandwiched by whoever I was daggering against. And, and these days, I tend to prefer you know I'd rather go too early than too late because even if they get a short drive back, you know a bash team against a an edge team, if you've not taken too much damage, then you have a pretty good chance of stopping them. Yeah. Yeah, like the main thing is to is to is to stop the damage, isn't it? And, and okay, you've stopped it for two turns. Like you know, if if you only stop two, even like you know one blitz, like because oh yeah, it was the first turn was when the, was when the when was when the stand, the non stand firm was here, wasn't it? So he really could yeah. have gone on turn two, and he would have only saved like one blitz. But even then, it would have, the the other stand firm was on one was on the other side, wasn't it? So. Would have, yeah, like it. It's hard. It's hard to. It's hard to, to uh, to say it was a good idea to go so early. But yeah, maybe. Obviously, now with hindsight, you know how bad it was going to get for the skate for the skate. Yeah, for the skating, yeah, so. yeah. It, it's true. It's true. I I probably would not have gone that early, but. But, um, but yeah, maybe maybe you should. Yeah, maybe you have to in this kind of kind of uh, tough uh, against such a tough team to sort of you know. Try and get through. Yeah, yeah, like it's incredible, isn't it? Because they're fast. Like the like chaos are pretty ridiculous with like yeah. the strength and the speed and the blitzers. Like you know the fact that they can three D people as well. Like often they can three D gutters, can't they? But just need one assist. So like he's got tackle. He's got like he's just got he's just got everything, hasn't it? Like this is a hell of a team. It's one of the it best is, teams yeah. we've ever seen in Chalice, to be honest. 
This is a very agile rat, but if he's literally faced with a wall of <laughs> warriors yeah. and beastmen as he is now, then he's uh, can't go anywhere that fast. Yeah, yeah there, there is the, uh, there is the edge five here though. He makes, he makes a decision here to stand on the sideline. Um, uh, which, so he can only base, and he can surf him, but yeah. not if he bolts him. Oh, mm, oh, I don't know about the ball. I mean, like you are in dire straits, but surely you gotta, you gotta bolt for you know for the turnover, right? <clears throat> for the yes. for like the two turns with uh, the two touchdown swing. That, that's what I would do. Um, so because he plans to bolt, this is why he has to reroll this GFI, right? Because Blood Bowl 2 is, is not yeah. correct and you can't bolt yeah. after a turnover. So he literally had to reroll that so that he could yeah. bolt. And then this is a brilliant move here, by the way. Because this is his natty. And he oh, he's bait or something. He get, no, he gets in a range. He's got a oh, second right. scoring threat. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and, and then he forgot to bolt. And then he forgot to bolt. And the next dice roll was a one. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Did did he say that? Was that did he? We well, talked to him afterwards. Did he just forget? He, he said it in he said it in game chat. Yeah, he just oh, literally really? forgot wow. the ball. Oh my God! Well, <laughs> great, great, great play. I mean, no, not not great with him being on the sideline. <laughs> but yeah, did, didn't use the ball. Yeah, didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I mean, imagine oh. if like okay, it ended up like not really a throw in, right? Um, yeah, this is a still on, isn't it? This is yeah. Famous, yeah, and he's got I mean, no rerolls. Is well. He's got hatch five in the night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It is. It's like we've talked about how disgusting the chaos team is. The, the rat team, not overall, isn't amazing, but they have some disgusting gut runners, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like it, it could, it's well the kind of team that could beat Nick's team. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's basically exactly what I lost to with my high elves, right? Just a, an edge six and an edge five and a wizard. And, yep. And with that. Massive banana skin. Yeah. And so, yeah, so we've just got an uphill and. Uh, and dodge through and pass it to him. Pretty simple, but yeah, no reroll sucks. Yeah, getting those three goats in front to force the. Um, and he does this. Nice, which I hate this. He does a one D and then goes for a four three. Oh. Blitz somehow. I like. I just hated that. Uh, I think. Yeah. I think you just go for the uphill right and. Uh, yeah. Well, it's three three for the uphill, isn't it? So it's strictly better than the four three. Yeah. Well, I guess you could like. Pow the goat, but you could pow him on the upward as well. But... Yeah. Yeah, but if you if you pow him this way, then it's just a two out, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas here, if you pow, well, then it's a nothing out. But if you both down, that's nah, it's the same. I don't know. Yeah. No, also... I, I mean, uh, up was was definitely way to go. I think. Yeah, I think so. And then Nick rolls some dice, and um, oh, again, no reroll. Gets the oh, yeah. catch. Gets the. Gets the warrior in the end zone for the. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, the uh, the the GFI fail scatter yeah. catch. Hey, red hair. Hello, red hair. It is it is Elliot himself. Amazing. Well, for free. Oh, you can watch it on YouTube when it goes up. Whee! <laughs> or the Twitch VOD. Uh, basically, a failed Dakar, thus proving that Dakars are terrible and uh, never ever work versus a combatant opponent. <laughs> And no, it's, it's a really good Chaos team, and obviously Gadenik is a really good coach, and uh, they put a lot of pressure on the Chaos, and uh, they put the Chaos put a lot of pressure on the Skaven, and uh, yeah, just just didn't have enough to do anything really. Hello. Good evening, Fime. Hello, Fime. Glorious. Yes, I have a small break from work, and I oh, I can miss this game. <laughs> it's been pretty amazing. And also having Heliod here, I think it's the first time I yeah. saw the booth with Heliod. Nice yeah. to uh, talk to you. Yes, yes, I see the Dazzle Storm having a rough day at the office. Yes. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a super tough match, right? It's a super tough ruff, match. Ruff, ruff. Um, it, like, his only chance is the wizard, essentially. So I think it was good that he didn't waste it as, you know, you could be termed by uh, using it to get the score. Interesting here with the kick, by the way. Um, I'm surprised he didn't kick over this side. You know, short kick over here oh. was only uh, a thing. And slight mistake from, yeah, there was a blitz. Slight mistake from Nick, right? He should have had the guard here. He he, he called it out in his stream. The guard should have been there to protect against 
against yeah. this particular hit because they would have had guard both sides for the blitz. But yeah, I'm surprised he didn't kick up here, right? Mm. Because he's still fast enough to get over there. And uh, if you get the blitz, it's amazing. But I guess he's thinking not if he gets the blitz and it just, you know, maybe Nick will split his team like an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. But Nick isn't going to split his team like an idiot, is he? Like, that's maybe yeah. the play against most, yeah. most CCL level coaches. But uh, yeah, I think probably you have, you've almost got a gamble on the whiz here. Yeah. Yeah, and, and high roll it. Yeah, that's fair. So he's gonna he's gonna dash through with the gutters. Hmm. Brawl it. Oh, are we missing the edge six? Is he uh, the the edge five two heads? The edge five got cast some point. No, oh, did it? Yeah, and the uh, no. diamond tackle stayed out. It's a nine score. Oh man, though. only two goes. Oh. So yeah, he's only got two. So it's super rough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe maybe Nickel just will push us. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Who knows? A man can dream. And it's it makes it horrible as well, right? Because like the wizard's always a threat, but now next turn it's going to be a massive threat, isn't it? Yes. With the what? two goes already in the backfield. Yeah, you can't. But this also forward. could be the red team getting deleted. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people in contact. There's a lot of blocks for, for Nick to make now against Armour 7. Which is, is fair play, isn't it? Like, you've you got to high roll it, like you say, haven't you? <laughs> you've got to, got to take those lists at this point, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Try and type all those chaos. Interesting that he gets him there uh, rather than maybe he's just back. He could have just pulled him back, right? Oh, ah, instant one in nine. Oh my god. But uh, one in. Oh, oh yeah, of course, there's a tackle zone. I was like, what is that? Zone, <laughs> <laughs> and it was a double one as it happened. Yeah, I thought you were doing the reverse of things where people, where they where they roll a double one on like a five plus pickup <laughs> and they're like, oh, a snake! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you can actually get out of range here. Oh wow, the stall is on here, yeah, nice. Yeah. Now whether it's worth stalling when your whole team's are about to get punched. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Because yeah. you've got the natty as well, right? And like, you, you're not going to stall for long, are you, is the thing either. Yeah. Surely, surely it's just this one turn of stall, so does, does six turns versus seven turns make a difference for this next offense? Probably not. Also, this is dodgy. Whoa, let's have a look at this. Right. Oh, is it a chain on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's an easy chain on, isn't it? Yeah. You just bang people and then uh, yeah. chain him one forward and maybe even two forward, right? You might even be able to yeah, chain yeah, two yeah. forward and hit the ball. So, yeah, this was this was uh, very risky from Razzle, actually. I don't know if Nick got, like, tries to set it up and fails or not. Yeah. I would, I would definitely be trying to chain this guy. Yeah, it's uh, it's not that not that bad, is it? And it's not like committing the plays is terrible because just a couple of beastmen in the backfield will force the score anyway, right? So it's yeah. not like you're losing much by going for it. Yeah. I guess like you take the one in nine block first, which is a bit you know a bit bad, but you know. nah, he doesn't go for it. Yeah. Maybe he just thought about it and wrote it off. Yeah, it's fair. M more, more maxing blocks <laughs> rather than uh, trying to do the fancy stuff. The fancy stuff is so often wrong, isn't it? <laughs> like it looks yeah. cool, but <laughs> yeah, just bang on reds. Yeah. This is tall, you know. You are saving yourself of getting three blocks on the LOS, and it's changed for seven blocks <laughs> on the LOS. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's one turn of stall. Like if it was be possible to like that one turn, that one extra turn to be like you know turn into two or three, then fair enough. But when it's definitely only one turn, I think it's there was, there yeah. was a good argument for just banging it in. Or if it's like one extra turn towards the end of the half, like yes. if it's going to be a, yeah. a two turn versus a three turn for Nick, you know that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh my god, disgusting! Kick him out, Charles. <laughs> oh, they got Charles. Mafia fisherman guys, can you say that the uh, that the team name Elliot uh, for no. the audience? No. 
<laughs> so I feel attacked. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh. gonna be amazing, guys. <laughs> At least you can't hear the sound effects earlier. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> hey, Jordan. Yeah, it's glorious, isn't it? Glorious. What an honor. What an honor. To, for hey, I'm no, I'm no, I'm no Sigur's eggs, all right? <laughs> Stay on. <laughs> Not a famous uh, team guardian. Uh, middle name, you know, in the famous status of the, of the Blood Bowl world. It's not, you know, front page like Sigur's Edge. It's just a article in page 10. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, dear. So there we go. So again, he goes for the deep. The deep kick. Um, well, it's because Sick as Eggs isn't in the JFW Savage, but but Kengar is. So yeah, there's gonna be a quick change at some point. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh. And this time, uh, Nick put the guard the piece where it should be. The guy, the warrior, next to the pomba. Yes, yeah, he did. He did fix that. <laughs> is he just gonna stay up and totally split his team? It looks like he is. Interesting. Yeah, I, I think it like genuinely is interesting, right? Like it's it's the same discussion when you're setting up for offense, right? In terms of thinking about how you defend against the blitz, because some people favor like a more staggered approach where you have some people up front and some people go back deep right to respond and other people and to most time more of those favor a, a stronger screen up front front right so it limits the ability of the elves where to get through the screen but if they do get through then yeah uh you know it's 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 more problematic not having somebody in the back yeah. so kind of a similar thing from nick here i think with the wizard in play i would yeah. definitely favor um more people around the ball yeah yeah Fair. And I think maybe Dazzle should have got this guy in mm. range somehow. Yeah, because that surely this Ash guy is just going to get whacked next turn. He's even in range of the tackle bomb, isn't he? Yeah. And this guy is you have no. Either. Yeah, yeah. So like maybe he should have GFI'd with with him to get him in range. And then yeah, definitely the definitely the natty somehow. Like I don't know where don't know where or how he gets in range, but he he has to get in range for me. I guess he's thinking a bit safe, right? He, he, he still has a chance, even if Nick scores, he still has the chance with a one turn, doesn't he? Maybe he's kind of slightly protecting the Natty a bit. You know, mm. Well, that, if he maybe. was planning to protect the Natty, that's not the right square. Yeah, yeah, you can just get it. But I guess the thing is, if you, if you hit the Natty, then you're not hitting this guy. Yeah, yeah. And if you're not hitting this guy, then you can score straight away. So you've, you've pretty much got to hit this guy. So you, the Natty is protected by, the, by not being in range and the Edge 5 being in range. Yeah. Well, then if you had them both in range, maybe you score next turn with a wizard. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah. Do we think there's anything to be said for saving the wizard to, uh, to lightning bolt somebody on the back line <laughs> for the natty? <laughs> yeah, it is only maybe. four, right? <laughs> yeah. So you could go down from what four three two dodges just to a two plus dodge with a bolt. Yeah. I certainly don't like it this turn. Oh, uh, with nothing in range. Okay, yeah, I was not expecting this to come in now. No. Like, only... what do you do with it? <laughs> he's got four players. Yeah. Able to move, so I guess he just thinks it's now or never. I guess. But yeah, like imagine if that if that storm vermin was in yeah. range, like. He could have he could have dodged him off double GFI'd and, and maybe he's passed it to him and scored. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but as it is, he just gets nailed. Oh well. And at Feels least like he could have dodged him off first, right? Even doing this, he could have still dodged him off first just to get him down there, because now he's still only got one in range next turn. This guy isn't in range, is he? Yeah, so you know like even yeah. after this he's he's got no in range. Ah, it was a great throw, yeah. Yeah. 
feels like they like the two turns just weren't quite synced enough. Like didn't have a yo know, Gdanik's got his four point plan. Feels like Razzle's plan for those two turns wasn't quite consistent between the two turns. If he was gonna go for the wizard, then he surely had to get him in range, didn't he? If he wasn't yes. thinking about the wizard so much, then fair enough, you know. You know, attract it to your, your edge guy, attract the blitz on your edge guy rather than Natty, and you know, just max the, the one turn chance. But felt like a bit sort of betwixt and between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that that makes sense to me. Yeah, he's just like maybe he's played too reactively and then just thought, oh god, now it's terrible. I'll have to do this. Yeah. Rather than thinking it's going to be terrible next turn, <laughs> let's make sure this guy's in range and that guy's in range, and so that yeah, when when I when I have to. Is something good can happen. Did the rat still have the uh, apple? Or I guess that's gone already. Uh, yeah, the apple. Went. I don't yeah. know when. There is a bribe as well, so like obviously the Skaven aren't going to be able to bribe with five players on the field. But it means that Nick can get a few bangings on this uh, natty. Oh, do the cows have a bribe as well? Yeah, they, they got the, uh, you know... Uh, kick of event, yeah. Kick of event, yeah. <laughs> Brutal kickoff event. Like the last thing you want to see, isn't it, when you've got in this situation is the uh, rats. Yeah, for sure. Gets the pal. Must be nice, palling guys. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bitter. Never, never, never powdered gut one of me. <laughs> never, never in my life. And he could, he could even foul with like a good player here, couldn't he? Yeah. I guess he's not gonna though. I've, I guess the problem for the natty is if he stands up, he gets claw pumped. <laughs> We'll tackle yeah, him. you got you got to stay down, right? Well, I guess now he could stand up. Now the yeah. core bombs <laughs> gone. Yeah. Oh, well now he can't. No, I think you just remain uh, down or run away just to avoid, you know, getting hit. Just let the uh, Nick score and go for the one turn. Yeah. I mean, staying down is fine, isn't it? Because there's not even dirty players, is it? So it's it's not the worst. <laughs> yeah. That's a good plan. There was somebody on the Blood Bowl 3 Discord saying that, that Thick Skull was better than Agility 3. Thick Skull Edge 2 was better than Agility 3. Of course, when you when you say somebody, we all we all know who that who that streamer and nicest guy in Blood Bowl was. <laughs> it wasn't even it wasn't even That is that is a that is a hot take that isn't it? Thick Skull better than plus Edge. It wasn't. It wasn't Mick Sheckless, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. He does like thick skull, though, doesn't he, Rick? He does. Yes. He does like. He does like thick skull. Wow. Reroll on the GFI for another extra assist on the on the DP. That's. How, I mean, on on the the extra mm. assist on the natty, which is fair enough, right? Because the natty is how. Oh yeah. Dazzle wins this game like hundred percent. It's like he's still decent odds to win here. Isn't yeah. he? If he has the natty, he just scores and then wins the toss and scores again. Yeah. Ridiculous. Three guys on the LOS, the IG5 pick up the ball, gives it to the Natty score. Yeah. Yeah, you've even got the second go on it. Yeah. S sometimes you only end up with a one by this point, don't you? Just the Natty. Yeah. Well, got, the, got the guy to pick it up as well. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Interesting then that. I guess he wants to claw. Oh, he wants to. Oh, of course, the match the Natty fell. Okay. I was thinking, would he would he claw on that go to on uh, But yeah, I guess making the Natty foul bigger is. Yeah. Is what he was thinking. Yeah, yeah, because one in 18, isn't it? Um, unless if he doesn't break AV, so. Oh, he turns like 16, yeah, I never even noticed. Yeah. Yes, he's doing the, the easy hits just to get rid of players to, you know, make the one turn harder, but. Uh... Got, a, got a foul here. He thought about it a little bit, not too much. You've just yeah. got to. It's just it's so likely, isn't it? You've just yeah. got to do it. Just the run right, here you go. I, th I think without the bribe, you don't. I think without the bribe, it's just. I did a rough back in the envelope one, and I think it was just worse not to not to foul without the bribe. But yeah, with, with a bribe, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Disgusting foul. I would never have done that foul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. With a with a with a bribe, yeah. It's 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 
sadly too likely that he just scores and then scores again after winning the toss. Like, it's so stupid, isn't it? You banged out his whole team. <laughs> Dominated the entire game. And there's still, like, a decent chance, isn't it? I don't know what the natty chance is, but... Um, about, about, what? I guess about, like, 45% with no sure feet. You know, roughly, roughly. It's about 50 with sure feet, I think, for an edge four. Obviously, lots of. Yeah, I got the. Oh, yeah, it would be a lot less if we didn't have the roll. Two e rolls would be great in uh, in in twenty twenty. Of course, yes. it's nice here for because you need two one turns effectively, don't you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck scoring on a normal drive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, it is just he is just going for two two ninety scores, but essentially. And um, well. This is it, you know, all comes to yeah, some random and stupid bullshit from the rats. Mm. Some twos and then four, three, two. Nice kick. There were some obviously just bad kicks that you couldn't get at all. Is the natty slightly wide? Why, why are we could not go one square further in? Yes. Or two squares? Been one. Yeah. I would have probably gone in two just to yeah. give more chance of not having to make the pass. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Oh, there was a roll. <laughs> oh, nightmare. Oof. Yeah, he could have hand, handed off there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Good day, Nick. Goes to the next round. Yeah, tragedy for Dazzle doesn't get his Natty. But I mean, Natty's a shit way to win anyway, isn't it? So you can't really feel bad for him. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, you got a Natty on one side and Club up on the other side, right? I mean, <laughs> there, are, there are no, you know, just, just men here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And six cards sustained, four KOs. Absolutely brutal. Um, 23 AV bricks, like more real. than Ungern. There you go. Wow, that, that said something, <laughs> isn't it? That, that, isn't you know, it? That's yeah. the actual top, uh, top uh, numbers there. Yeah, incredible. And yeah, just an amazing team and uh, amazingly coached by Gdanik as well. So there you go. Congrats to him. Commiserations, Dazzle Storm. Thank you very much, Faimir and Elyon. Absolutely glorious having you both in the booth. Glorious to be here until it was over. Yeah, it was fun, thanks. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.